over the past 70 years, WBZ has seen a lot of changes in New England. And none quite as visible as the coastline of the Cape. In tonight's Boston Next, WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher is going to take a look at the toll that weather has taken on our shores. It's hard to talk about the future without talking about climate. And there's no better visual for a changing landscape than Outer Cape Cod. 200 years ago, they would have looked me straight in the eye and said I was crazy to want to be on top of a hill or over near the beach. Dan Saunders has lived almost all of his 80 plus years on Cape Cod, where property lines and parking lots are always on the move. Boston Beach in Truro is a prime example. In 1900, a sprawling complex in the dunes. Last summer, a cluster of homes hanging on. This March, another huge breach with salt water making it all the way to Route 6. And in the aftermath, another home claimed by the sea. This is where it stood. I'm amazed at my own personal reaction to the house, which is almost like losing an old friend. The ocean here is about 100 yards west compared to early last century. Down the dunes to East Ham, Mark Adams eyes another disappearing beach. We had to remove our um, changing room, restroom building, septic system, stairs. So in the last, since 2010, we've rebuilt these stairs five times. The National Park Service is always trying to figure out nature's next move. And here at Nauset Light, they decided it's time to give up on expensive stairs and take a different path. It's not a surrender. <laughs> it's retreat, but not surrender. Uh, but it also means that as we understand things better and measure it, we can come up with a solution that will last longer, it's more sustainable. At the end of the last ice age, Cape Cod was a lot bigger, a glacial gift. Rising seas and thousands of years of erosion have eaten up much of the land and produced the bared and bended arm of Massachusetts. As seas rise, wave action over Georgia's bank increases, producing ever stronger surf to pound at the shore. Erosion is what feeds the beaches, so loss in one spot is another's gain. That's the fuel, that's the sand supply that builds the Prouts on Hook, the Orleans and Chatham barrier beaches, Monomoy Island. All that is new sand that was excavated from here. The iconic profile of windswept dunes facing the ocean never really changes. The effect similar to moving a fence in your yard backwards three to five feet every year. It's a rate which should accelerate with warming and rising seas. As family vacations and memories continue through the generations, don't expect the battle of surf and sand to change, but its location and anything in it will. People who say we're losing our beaches, the beach is gonna be gone. No, what's gonna be gone is, is the, the pavement. Any fixed structure that we put in this uh, moving dynamic coastal zone is gonna have to move and it won't be the same. Wow. The lighthouse there, like many, they kind of reevaluate every 20 years or so. Is it worth it to the community to move it? And it's up to the community to decide. But it will need to be moved every 20, 30 years or so. And we were talking to Dan Saunders there in Truro. A woman was walking her dog up the beach. She said, oh, I just lost my house. Wow. And she said that she had gotten a painting when she bought it. It was in Wellfleet. And she saw the house. It was right up on top of the dunes. And it was in the early 1900s. And yeah. the owner said, oh, wow. This is pretty good. It's in the same spot back then. And then the person who had just sold them the house and gave her the painting said, that was after the third time we moved it. And then uh -huh. she moved it three more times. Wow. So, so we're just 100 years, six times moving that house back. Where are we going? Well, eventually, it's all gone. Uh, Cape Cod is a gift from the glacial age. It's been disappearing for 6,000 years. It's not going to disappear in my life or mm -hmm. your life or your kid's life, but eventually erosion is going to do what it does. Remarkable no images. stopping time. Mm -mm. Eric Fisher, thank you.